All right, we're in North Dakota getting ready to start our first day of hunting in camp. We got Greg Goddard. What up? Shane's gonna like totally screw the bush tonight, <laughs> is my guess. He's with Tethered. Then we got Carl over there with Tethered and his cameraman Dylan. Y'all might recognize Dylan. Just comment where you recognize him from down below. And then, uh, oh, there's Jared. Jared, what's your channel? Slinging arrows? Flinging arrows. Same yeah, thing. Appalachia. Gary Prowl, DIY Sportsman, and his wife, Sam, back there. He's not letting Sam shoot. He, he's making her film. <laughs> and then uh, I'm self-filming. And then we got Ranch Ferries coming into town in a couple days. So it's going to be a fun afternoon. Hopefully we'll get a few deer down. Oh, it's good over there. Oops. This chair. I, would, I need to modify this seat. But... I got plenty of stealth wrap if you want to wrap it tonight. I might do that. I just need to adjust it so this doesn't pivot. Yeah. It's just kind of a spur of the moment thing to use it. It all worked good for what you're wanting to do tonight, yeah. though. Right. I'm gonna do a little spill here for the yep. camera and then we'll get busy. Alright, so we're here first afternoon, first hunt in Nebraska. Nebraska? I still got Nebraska on my <laughs> North Dakota. This is uh, Carl. Say your last name? Kasu. Kasu. And uh, he's with Tethered. And we've got a whole group of guys uh, from Tethered up here in camp. We're just gonna have a fun week here uh, hunting. This is one of my spots that I cyber scouted and I came up here in July with Garrett Prowl, DIY Sportsman, and, and actually got boots on the ground and I fell in love with it. And I think I have a good opportunity to, to kill a deer in here. There's so much good sign that we're gonna uh, tag team it today. Carl's gonna get it one spot that I found that looks good. I'm going about another 150 yards. He's gonna be up in a tree in the saddle, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be on the ground with my recurve. We're both using recurves. And uh, we've got Dylan running camera there for for Carl and so it's real early it's like 1230 season open here at noon and so we're just gonna get an early start we think we might be able to see a lot of daytime activity so if this place doesn't pan out right across the road we've got a spot that I found a lot of good sign that I think could be a dynamite spot with a south wind and that's gonna happen tomorrow we'll get a south wind today the winds uh, good for this location so I'll quit yapping. We'll go ahead in the woods and get set up and just uh, hopefully we see some, some deer. Kill them. Yep. Good luck, Carl. Goodbye. Alright, so I, I left Carl and Dylan down the hill. They're going to be about 125 to 150 yards from me. I got a drainage ditch right here on my right. I'm basically going up a little finger ridge here and the hill drops off here. Lots of fresh signs so far more so than it was in July when we came out here scouting. But I've only got a little bit farther to go up the hill here. And uh, I'm just kind of overlooking this ditch here. There's a couple trails that converge and they go over this finger. So I'm just hoping that they take the trail that gives me the best opportunity to shot. I'm hoping they don't come over the trail right in front of me on this finger, but I don't have but a, a little bit farther to go and we'll get set up, start hunting. see what it's doing. I'm not running the main camera, I'm just running the 360 and action camera here. Let's see what the land's doing. I need it to cut across. 
there's a good one. Just going in and cutting around. For the most part, it's going down the ditch here. So the deer shouldn't smell me when they come down, if they come from above. Ooh, I was tempted to shoot that doe. I was contemplating whether to take the shot if she gave me one. And I'd say there was more than a 50% chance I would have taken it had she stopped right there broadside. There was two of them. She was a, a really big doe and I was contemplating shooting her if she'd give me a shot, but we don't have to worry about that now. She went on up the hill with the other doe. That was pretty exciting. That's it for a long day here in North Dakota. Had that pretty exciting encounter with those two does earlier. But otherwise it's been uneventful. I haven't had cell service all day so I don't know what everyone else has seen. I'm gonna go meet up with Carl and Dylan here in a moment. Who knows, maybe they, somebody shot something. But otherwise, uh, that's it for today. First day in North Dakota. Where's your partner at? He's coming down. Did a tree fall over here? No. Why'd you hear something? Sound like a limb or something crashed over here. Hopefully it was my buck. Your buck? Did you shoot one? Yeah. Yeah, hi. What was it? I, he was big. <laughs> How big? I, well, if I ever get to see him, He's big. He's, he's the biggest buck I've ever shot with a recurve. Maybe ever. Oh really? That's good. I put you in the I put you in the spot, huh? <laughs> yeah. If I wouldn't have screwed the shot up. What do you mean? I hit him back. Way how, back. How far back? Like kidney back. Did you get good video of it, Dylan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he awesome. got Well, I guess uh I guess we're gonna head back and take a look at the footage. Since it's a poor shot, there's no sense in tracking it. No, we're not going to track it at all. But I would like to, I mean, he, he hauled the mail across that okay. clearing. He, my arrow broke off. Yeah. How so, much penetration you got? Uh, it, looked, it looked like it, it's probably at, it. at least through, through his body. It's sa they're saturated with blood. They're saturated. I got guts on that broadhead, it looks like. Tell you this is what's going to happen with the deer. He's hurt. If it was just intestines, 
or guts that deer's gonna go to and it's gonna feel sick in a, in a hurry yeah. and it's gonna bed down it's supposed to be what 40 upper 40s tonight yeah just let it lay it'll be it'll be less than 200 yards away in the morning I'm surprised that arrow's not broke well, drop some tissue here where your arrow was at laying at I, I know the mark right now you need to mark it mark it with tissue I'm telling you tissue but I got some ribbon. I got tissue if you need it. Always mark your trail. I don't care how confident you are because I, I go and I go on these tracks and people say oh I know exactly where it is and then we spend a half hour trying to find that spot. Well, it's at the edge of the freaking meadow. Yeah. Right? It takes you two seconds to mark it. These damn lights get hot when you run them on high. Do you have one of these army techs also? Yeah. yeah. These things are pretty good. every 10 yards helps give you a line especially when you get in the woods Buck. Got him, oh. We got him. That's a good buck, dude. That is a very good one.